Hey everyone, how are you? So, I promised I would do a redo of, um, yeah, I've got it right here. Um, this is Maybelline Superstay, uh, up to 24 hour, um, hybrid powder foundation, and this is in 112. All right. So, I said I would do a redo. Um, it's full coverage. Um, it has a matte finish up to 24 hour wear, weightless and comfortable feel, sweat resistant and water resistant. All right. So I'm going to do my, um, I've already done an eye look, uh, just simple. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get my, um, primers on and then, um, we'll go ahead and, um, um, get started. So this is going to be just really quick and easy. Okay. Um, I'm going to do a little bit with the puff and then I'm going to go to, um, um, brush I apologize I know what I'm thinking of but I'm so busy putting on my um, primer that Just a minute, please. Okay, so we are redoing. I got a request for a redo, which that's what we're doing. And um, I'm going to tell you about this um, foundation. Just a minute here. So, Maybelline. I usually have this all ready to go, but um, I just had a lot of stuff to do. All right, let me go into foundations. Here we go. We're almost there. All right, this is what we are doing this is super stay it retails 15 all right so this is what it looks like all right so i would be a cool but in this the cools are too dark for me so i'm going with uh, a neutral and mine is 112 all right so um this is about the powder um, so the cool, neutral, and warm system is a little bit different with this. Most of the time I would go with a cool, but you, but the cools are too dark. So I went with the neutral. So you might have to, um, even though you know your undertone and whether you're fair, light, medium, tan, deep, you might be juggling around a little bit and doing something else. That's what I had to do. So, but I'm going to tell you about this. Get your soft matte look with Maybelline New York Superstay up to 24 hour hybrid powder foundation. This medium to full coverage superhero hybrid delivers up to 24 hours of super stain power fueled by a super resistant hybrid technology its formula unites the best of both worlds. The performance of a liquid with the comfort of a powder. Um, long wear that is sweat resistant, water resistant, transfer resistant, resists caking and patchiness. Just swipe it on and you're ready to take on the city. Okay, so it says here, um, it says how to apply 
Apply to skin and blend. Use the included sponge applicator for more full coverage or brush for a more natural finish. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a little bit of the sponge on one side and then I'm going to use the brush. Uh, usually I only use the puff, but I found some things I liked about the brush the first time. So this is what I'm going to do. I did not wash the brush from the first time, or not brush, the, I did not wash the um, puff from the first time. I apologize. I just didn't, I just didn't get the time. It doesn't look bad. So this is what I'm going to do. Oh yeah, except for I forgot to prime on the other side. Okay, so I got my, I got vitamins on. All right, before I, we have started this. Vitamins is on my non-T zone. And now I'm going to go ahead and use this wet and wild mat. All right. And I'm going to gently, I got a little bit too much last time. And I don't think it set uh, well. So I think that there was a little bit of a situation there. But I'm going to right now. Um, okay, a little bit there. This stuff works really well. So, I like it. I'm going to let this set in, and while that's doing that, we'll get started on um, the sides of my face. Alright, so this is all on. I'm going to put just a little bit more on my nose. All right, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and use the puff first, and then I'm going to use um, um, the brush. This has so. All right, here we go. I'm going to start at the bottom. Actually, I might just go ahead and there we go. It's okay. Okay, I'm going to use a little bit more of the um, puff. Just to kind of show you the difference. Instead of brushing, or like, I think I'm just going to pat it on. Let's see if it goes on better on my T-zone. Okay, then now I'm going to go ahead. I'm putting on a little bit more so on my T-zone just because, um, This is a matte foundation, and I want it to have the best um, chance at um, 
uh, staying power. Actually, uh, you know, it didn't come off. So this is what I'm going to do now. I am going to go ahead and um, go in with the brush. I'm going to go in with the brush and I'm using um, my e.l.f. complexion dual brush so I'm going to go in with that and I'm going to so the one thing I found with the brush is it's like airbrushed, which I thought was really um, good. I liked that when I saw it the first time. The airbrush look is really, um, it looked really good. It was very smooth. So, um, what I thought I would do um, is stick to... Um, the brush in some parts and then uh, kind of um, double down if you will or really go in um, with the puff uh, on my T-zone just because it's my T-zone and it won't look bad though it'll look good This powder is really soft to work with. It's not uh, difficult at all, which I like. So I'm almost done. So the la first time I did the brush on one side and the puff on the other. And my thought was, um, I like that. So I think I'm pretty much done all right i'm going to tap a little bit more um on the sides and on my t-zone and then i think i'll be done with that i'm going to apply a little bit more on my t-zone just to um reinforce it it won't be cakey uh what i'm going to do i set my face before i put my makeup on and then um i just really want to make sure that my nose it'll all line out to begin with, it looked heavy on my nose, but it will all line out. I'll set it, and it'll be fine. There we go. I'm going to pack a little bit in on these areas uh, that I have. And then I'm going to go ahead and set and then we'll be ready. So my makeup is going to be really simple. All I did was um, I used um, Maybelline mascara and uh, uh, Maybelline um, liner. So that's all done. It's just going to be really simple and easy today. The focus is on the foundation. 
All right. I think I got that well. Let me see on the side. Yeah, I think that looks all right. I think just a little bit more on the side, but I think it's done. So I don't know if you can hear that, but it, it's been uh, a little windy. It'll go away, but I think she heard that that's what you're hearing. Okay. All right, I think that's, I think that's good. Got one area I'm no oh, I'll just leave it. <laughs> kind of funny. Let me do it. Oh use the pad. The puff just for a second. Let's see if I can. I've got one area that's got um sometimes when you use powder, you get these makeup holes, if you will, you know, like, um, a pore didn't get filled in, so I've got that on one side, but I'm not going to mess with it, okay, so I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and wipe my hands off, and I'm going to set, and then I'll go ahead and quickly get my makeup on, and we'll get started with the square test. I apologize for the sound. Alright. Almost done. Okay, I am using Milani Make It Last Sunscreen. This is this is really it it smells like aerosol, so if you don't like that, <laughs> that's just a warning. It literally smells like aerosol, like hairspray. That's exactly what it smells. I'm going to do it one more time because I really want to make sure it's set. And then I will go ahead and quickly get um, uh, um, our face going. So my eyes are done. So all I'm going to do is... Um, Um, I'm using a True Match, okay, and this is in, there we go, I like this stuff, I really do, it's simple and easy to use, and um, um, there's a lot of benefit from it, okay, so what I think I'm going to do, let me see if I've got my, I don't think I have it on here, I'm going to go ahead and try and see if uh, this will work with my, I have a little tiny brush here, but I'm going to see if the blush will work with this. I'm going to see if I can get it on here without, apply it without, um, I have this other brush that goes with it, but it's um, not super, um, I'll show you. This is the brush that comes with it, and I have been using it, but the application I don't really like, but that's okay. Okay, I've got this. This should be applying. It truly totally should be.
It's okay. Oh, I see it on this side. It is. It's just. Let me see which does better. I'll see which applies better. Uh, this brush, it's not. It's a little more rough than the other, so that's why I was using that. I have an actual, actual um, blush brush, but it's not in here, so. That's why I'm, okay, I think that's good. All right, so this is what we're going to do. That is all done. I'm going to spray again, and we'll get started. So we're making good time. It is, we've only got a little, a few minutes in, so that's good. Okay, I'm going to spray one more time. And we'll get started. Okay, here we go. Okay. So it makes some claims. We can't test sweat resistant, but we can test the other, so we will. Um, right now, it is, it's 12.01, okay? So... So I'll see you at 8 tonight. Okay, maybe a little bit before. So everyone, have a great day. And I will see you around 8 or so. Maybe a little bit before. And we'll see how everything looks. So love you guys. I'll see you later. All right, everyone. We are back. It is 735. So everything looks good. So I was wearing my jacket all day. And my... um. My chin, the chin area came off, but, um, you know, I was wearing my jacket, so I'm giving it that. Um, everything looks really good. Um, I had my nose and the pores, but I think it looks good. I still think it looks good. I'll show you, uh, the photos that I took and then we'll wrap this up, but, um, I think that um, it, it did well, despite um, um, despite it uh, coming off my chin. I have some pores sticking out. This is my forehead. Okay, it still looks good. Um, and... Um, I like the airbrush of the, um, see, you can see my pores sticking out. Uh, I like the airbrush of, um, the brush, but, um, I used the puff on my nose, on my T-zone, because I thought that it would, um, last longer. So, um. I'm going to take a few pictures right now, but uh, I think that it looks, it does, it hasn't changed. I mean, my pores still, let's see, let me go ahead and, okay. All right, so the only thing that I'm really looking at uh, is my pores on my nose. Okay, so. This is how my pores look, okay? So, um, they're not bad at all. They're not bad. Um, it's not great, but I didn't wear my glasses. I, I wore them a little bit, um, but I didn't wear them a whole lot. So, uh, around where my um, pores are, but my nose isn't completely, like usually when I wear my glasses, the, um, my T-zone is all right in here. It's all messed up. It's not. So, um, because I left my glasses off. Um, I did reapply here because, um, right in here 
on my chin because I'd been wearing my jacket for a while and my jacket took the uh, stuff off. But this is what we're going to do. I'm going to do a water test because uh, it's supposed to be water um, and transfer resistant or uh, sweat uh, sweat proof and waterproof so uh, this is what I'm going to do yeah see it says 24 hour wear weightless comfortable feel sweat resistant water resistant so I can't test sweat resistant but we'll test water resistant so I've got some water so we'll just test it right now um aside from that um, I think it, it was okay. We'll, we will go ahead and test it, uh, when it gets warmer and see what it does as far as sweat resistant or sweat proof and that kind of thing. Okay. So I put some drops on my face and it's not doing anything. Literally, it is not moving at all. I put it all over my face. The biggest thing for me is my T-zone. So the sides look great. Okay, so I've got droplets of water, okay, all over my face, and it's okay. It's not, um, it's not doing anything. Let me see if I can, let me see if I can take a photo of um my face and show you the droplets but it isn't doing anything there we go okay no but all right So, it might be coming off a little bit on the end, but it probably, I've been, it's been ripping against my jacket, so I'm going to give it that. But the water isn't doing anything, so it's all good. So, I'm giving it now, I'm giving it um, an A+. Plus, so, we'll test it again. Uh, when it's when the heat's going so all right everyone that is all for this video I love you all um, it's getting an excellent grade all right I've got a whole bunch more coming your way so be aware I love you all have a great day a great evening now and I'll see you guys uh, in my next video love you